Greetings, everyone. This is Mike from the Morphin Network here at Pasadena Convention Center uh, for Power Morphicon 2024. And I'm here with the legendary ranger and a life guru himself, David Delator, a.k.a. RJ from Power Rangers Jungle Fury. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Awesome. Uh, how are you enjoying the convention so far? It's great, man. Uh, this is so day two, just started day two, and uh, it's great. It's always overwhelming when you first get here, so it was nice to have yesterday settle into it. Ready to go for day two now. Wonderful. So my question, uh, first question for you is, uh, what preparation did you go through in order to get the whole hippie life guru motif for RJ's character because he's like a complete 180 from his source character and like you also have the whole pizza thing going on like how did you prep for that? Yeah that was kind of half what was on the page yeah. right half what the writers did and then half of just what I came up with so I kind of just took a shot at the audition and said this is how I see the character, went in and did that. Um, and then, honestly, it was more the most prep we do, were doing was the fighting after that. We were in, in boot camp for the for the martial arts. We, we literally went to a pizza shop and they taught us to make pizza every week. We would go back and they'd teach us how to do that. Um, and then it was just developing the character, finding the hands, finding his movements, um, and uh, continuing to push that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's how I, how I got RJ. Nice. Well, my next question was actually about the stunt work because you guys are a kung fu themed season so yeah uh, you the actual face actors have to uh, do some of your own stunts well you you did mention the boot camp but were there any particular stunt sequences or episodes that you remember most fondly i mean a lot of them it's probably one of my favorite parts of the show and because i wasn't a ranger straight away i got uh, you know rj got to do a bunch of fighting so i got to do a bunch of fighting which was really cool and i told um the the stunt guys that i would like to do as much as i could because um, i really enjoyed doing that and not only that but the the Muay Thai kickboxer style that they came up with for RJ I just thought was so badass so um, so honestly I mean all of the fighting I just had so much fun with um, the the fighting when when RJ has to fight himself has to fight the wolf yeah. um, is probably one of my favorite parts because I got to do a lot of that so anytime I got to fight a lot I was I was loving it Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So my next question is if, uh, so the show aired 16 years ago, my most favorite season of all time. Where do you think RJ would be and what would he be doing right now? That's such a good question. He would definitely still have the pizza shop. He would definitely still have his chair. Um, he'd probably be working on a number of gadgets uh, and he'd be trying to you know, get them out into the world to make the world a better place. I mean, the guy's pretty comfortable with where he was at, right? So I reckon he'd be sitting in his Lazy Boy somewhere, sipping his iced tea, making some gadgets. Awesome. So are there any upcoming projects that you want to let us know about, um, you know, withstanding our NDAs? Yeah, well, there's a new show that I'm in uh, out on um, platforms. I don't know where it would be in the States, but it's called Dark City The Cleaner. It's the latest show that I've just done. It's a little bit dark. It's definitely not anything like RJ. Um, it's a pretty dark show, but a cool crime show. So if you want to check that out, have a little look. All right. Well, you heard it here, folks. A uh, new show based on Dark City coming out. Uh, be sure to look for all the platforms uh, when it comes out. And before we uh, close out, is there any uh, social media platforms you want to plug for your fans to follow you on? I'm on Insta, so follow me on that. Awesome. Just my name. Awesome. And uh, with that said, guys, I'm Mike Matusevich. This is uh, David Delatour. We're here at Morphicon. Uh, this is uh, Morphin Network, and we're signing out. Have a good one.